Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool freeze frame reframe effect. This is where the 360 video is playing and then you pause it while you reframe it and then continue playing from where you left off. This can create a bit of surprise and interest in your 360 degree videos and it's really easy to do in DaVinci Resolve. So once you've created your timeline in DaVinci Resolve, add your 360 cam footage to it. This footage was shot with an Insta360 X4. Next, come up here and open the effects window, click on effects, and then scroll down until you see this KVR Reframe 360 Ultra effect. Drag this on to the clip. This is a free effect and I've got a whole video showing how to install this, which I'll link to in this video's description and at the end of this video. Click on the clip and now you can use these settings to reframe your footage. What you want to do is pick the starting point in the clip. So let's say about here, I'm just going to trim the start and then you want to reframe your 360 footage to get your overall frame. You can now go and close the effects. Next, you can play through the footage and work out where you want to do the freeze frame effect. With the clip selected, either hit Control B on the keyboard or click on the razor blade tool here and add a cut. Hit the right arrow key on your keyboard to move the playhead one frame across and then add another cut. You can use Control Plus on the keyboard to zoom in, switch back to point mode. And now you've got this one frame of footage. Make sure you've got this clip selected and the playhead's at the start of the clip. Come up to the clip menu, come down and choose freeze frame or hit shift R on the keyboard. Next, you want to go and switch into trim edit mode, which you can do by clicking this button here or hitting T on the keyboard. And then you want to expand this single frame to be as long as you want. Notice when you use the trim edit tool, it's going to push across this clip here. So play that back and you wanna leave enough room to give the effect enough time to complete. Once you're happy with that, switch over to the pointer tool, click on the clip and then move to the start of this clip. Come over to the inspector and you want to click the little dots on pitch, your and roll and also these other controls if you intend on using them as part of the effect. In this example, we're gonna do a 360 degree rotation. So I'm going to come to the end of this clip and you might wanna go back one frame just so you can see what's happening. And then in this case, I'm just going to alter the your property. And when I do this, notice this dot goes red. It's automatically adding a keyframe. And I'm just going to keep moving my mouse all the way around until we get back to the start. If we play this back, we've now got the freeze frame reframe effect. I've got a couple of quick tips for you. What you want to do is you want to make sure once you get to the end of this freeze frame section, you want to make sure that whatever numbers are appearing here in this last keyframe are the same as the numbers in the next clip. If you do get a little bit of a mismatch, the second tip is to open the effects, come over to video transitions, and then add this smooth cut effect to each edit point. And you're going to want to reduce the length of that. We'll do it on both of these cuts. And that can just help smooth out the transition between the freeze frame section. If you want to get more advanced, you can instead use Fusion to do this. I've got the same effect added here. And the benefit to this is that you've got a lot more control over the smoothing of these keyframes, like in this version, where we've added some easing to the effect. This is the video that shows you how to install the plugin. And this is a playlist with all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.